Hello class! Welcome to our channel. This is Alan Shane at your service. For today's discussion, we will discuss about the use of freight in and freight out accounts. As you can see here, we have two books, the buyer or the customer's books and the seller or supplier's books. We have to take note that freight in or transportation expense on merchandise purchase, we have to debit freight in or transportation in. Therefore, if there is a transportation expense during the purchase of merchandise, we have to debit the freight in or the transportation in account. Remember ha, if there is a transportation expense as we purchase merchandise, we have to debit the freight in or the transportation in. But if there is a freight or transportation expense on merchandise sold, we have to debit freight out or transportation out. Sa Tagalog, kapag Bibili tayo ng merchandise, ang transportation expense or freight na ma-incur natin is i-debit natin siya as freight in or the transportation in. But, if the transportation expense na ma-incur natin during sa pagbenta ng merchandise, so, we have to debit freight out or the transportation out. So, we have two books here, the buyer customer's books and the seller or supplier's books. In the buyer or customer's books, diba, it is the purchase transportation expense. So, here we have to debit freight in. We have to debit freight in and credit cash or accounts payable. Cash kapag pag binili natin siya at binayaran, then accounts payable kapag binili natin ang merchandise pero inutang muna natin. On the seller's books or supplier's books, we have to debit freight out and credit cash or accounts payable. So, that is the use of freight in and the freight out accounts. Next, we have discount terms both for purchases and sales. In letter A, when you can see that there is a 210 and 30, ang ibig sabihin is the account is paid or collected within 10 days from the date of invoice a 2% discount can be availed or given. And no discount if the account is paid or collected after the 10th day or from the 11th to 30th days. What does it mean? Ibig sabihin, kapag binayara natin, kapag tayo ang buyer, binayara natin within 10 days yung ating inutang, makakakuha tayo ng 2% discount. Pero, kapag binayara natin on the 11th to 30th day, wala na tayong discount na 2%. And the terms for the merchandise is 30 days. Ulitin natin ha. Sa buyer na side, if we can pay Within 10 days, we can get 2% discount. On the seller side, if we collect within 10 days, 
So, 2 discount, 2% discount also can be availed. But, if 11 to 30th day, so no discount can be availed. Next here, 210, 120, and 30. Ibig sabihin, 2% discount can be availed or given if the account is being paid or collected within 10 days. So, kapag na-collect or na-paid within 10 days, merong 2% discount. But, if na-collect or na-paid within 20 days, so there is 1% discount. But, if the merchandise is ma-paid or ma-collect during 21st to 30th day, so there is no discount na ma-avail. Nakuha? So, next. Letter C. 210 OEM. 2% discount can be availed or given if the account is paid or collected 10 days after the end of the month. So, meron tayong 2% discount if ma-collect or ma-paid siya 10 days after the end of the month. So, that's, that's it for the discussion about the use of freight in and freight out accounts. So, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and share it to your loved ones. God bless!